Welcome to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Tonight on this episode, we are going to answer a question that has been bugging us for a while. How does ambient temperature actually play on our mining rigs? We will take a snapshot inside and outside. And when I mean outside, I'm talking, we're taking this thing outside. Now the rig that we're using in this build is a uh, ASUS P8P67 motherboard. Uh, grabbed a couple sticks of uh, a 4 gig DDR3. Uh, again, this was the Gigabyte uh, non-Gigahertz edition um, 7970s. Um, core clocks of 1000 megahertz. Uh, we went down to Micro Center, picked these guys up. These were literally returns. Uh, everything was sold out. Used some standard settings off the web and again had that indoor temperature set at 75 degrees. Now, idle power, it's about 65 watts of power. It's not too bad. Pretty good in efficiency. But turned on uh, and cranking, these things were around 558 indoor. That was about a 10 minute run um, to see you know, if we could get ambient temperatures to change outside of the case itself. And after these things been running a while, we went ahead and pulled out the old uh, magic wand and see what uh, kind of temperatures we were getting off the top of these cards. You know, the inside card, we're around 160 degrees surface temperature and outside around 140. This is another run for about seven minutes. And you can see from the hash rate around uh, 85 Celsius on the inside and 67, 68 Celsius on the outside. Actually, not too bad. Really good cooling on these cards. Obviously, the settings set up to 100%. Well, this isn't optimized. Only getting around 580 hash a piece. Um, optimize these things around 700 a piece, around 1400 in this box alone. Now, the main reason why we wanted to do this, we want to take this rig outside. We wanted to see the ambient temperature set around 27 degrees and see without doing anything else but letting it set outside with that ambient temperature would it make a huge difference the surface temperature you know of this case got down about 14 degrees you know i was kind of worried about it frosting up you know the relative humidity was pretty low so i wasn't too worried about it sweating or anything but um you know we you know took a lot of different readings on the outside of it and you know i wanted to make sure we got that in the video both on the outside card running for about six seven minutes you know, got up to right around 50 degrees on the surface temperature. Uh, inside card around, you know, 60, 70 degrees um, surface touch temperature and really on the back side um, was setting at a cool uh, 80 degrees. Uh, you know, mind you, inside this thing with 75 uh, ambient was setting right around 160 to 170 degrees surface temperature. Um, so obviously a uh, pretty significant change. We saw in the schedule that there was some snow that was supposed to be starting, so we were actually trying to get this done pretty quick. But I did want to get a good run out there for at least 10 minutes and see what um, would happen in that level of uh, cool weather. Some interesting findings. Card had to use a lot less energy. The rig didn't have to use as much energy, so we sat around right around 512 on the power, so about 50 watts of power savings in. As you can see here for a little bit, um, we're setting at a cold, you know, 34 Celsius to 40, 41, 42 Celsius it sat for about 10 minutes. We're bringing our stuff in before we fry it. It is literally snowing outside. So what we're going to go ahead and do is post this stuff up on uh, below the video. Pretty much the table data that you're seeing right now, both inside and outside, the metrics that we were able to collect. We did do a few shots that weren't on camera with the uh, top cover of the case on and got some of those metrics also collected to give you kind of an idea with two cards next to each other like that with how they play with ambient and power usage. Now coming in our next episode, we're going to be bringing in one of those 290Xs, one of those 280Xs, and uh, we're even throwing one of those 260Xs for some of you broke-ass fools and see what kind of hashes we can get out of those things and post those configs up and see if we can make you guys some money. Stay tuned. The bits be tripping. Tripping.